Before we get into just what's going on here in the Summer League, I saw on your social media you posted an emotional farewell to Kyle Lowry. Just talk about what went into writing that and how much he meant to you. Uh, I mean, Kyle's my man. That's, that's been my big brother. You know, as my mentor, he uh, he definitely uh, put me under his wing, you know, from, from the day I got to camp. Um, I earned that respect. I earned that relationship. And we've been building ever since. So um, not only what he means to the organization, to the country of Canada, obviously, but um, what he means to me just individually as a person and as a player is uh, it's hard to put into words. Freddie, you're not rebuilding in Toronto, despite the fact that, that Kyle's left, because you got some young players, obviously, Trent and Birch, and now Goron coming over and Precious Achua. So what's your mindset now that Kyle's left and you are essentially this team's leader? Yeah, um, I think we just got to build each day and continue to get better, build on our habits. Um, I think it's, you know, there's a, there's a few guys on our roster that have to make steps and have to make strides, including myself. Um, so I'm excited. I'm excited about where we are. Um, obviously, I think it's, it's fair to say that we kind of went for the championship a few years ago and now we're putting the pieces back together. So it's a, a, a transition, um, but I don't see any reason why we can't continue to, to be one of the top teams in the NBA. Um, it's just up to, up to the players to go out there and make it happen. Well, when you came out of Wichita State, you went undrafted. What's been your message to the young guys here in Summer League? Because you went through this, you made it. What have you said to them? Um, for me, I, this is always the same. You can't really control how many opportunities, when your opportunity comes or where it comes. But uh, when it comes, you have to be ready for it and you have to make the most of it. So, um, you know, focus on what you can control. And when that time comes, just be ready to go out there and, and uh, give it your all. Fred, uh, what are your early impressions being around Scotty Barnes? Have you been able to spend some time with him? And what are you, what are you thinking? Great energy, good kid. Um, young for sure, but uh, I love his, his, his motor, I love his intensity, um, I love his spirit and his energy and with that frame and, and, and that body he'll, he'll be able to figure it out. So um, we, you know, obviously we're happy to have him um, and we just want to be a part to, to be a piece to help him out along the way. Hey, one last thing. Uh, last time I saw you was in Tampa and it was an amazingly crazy tough year for you <laughs> away from home. Yes, how, how much of that adversity of not being able to be in Toronto now that you're through it, how much do you think it, it helped your the guys coming back grow a little bit? Yeah, well, it, it put us all in tough situations, the whole organization, not just the players. I mean, there were staff that were away from their families. They get paid a whole lot less than we do. Um, so obviously it was a tough year on all of us, um, but it's behind us. I like where we were. I think we were a top four team up until, you know, our whole team got COVID and we just weren't built to deal with that kind of uh, storm that we ran into. But um, it's a great learning experience for everybody going forward and kind of puts things in perspective. We'll be we'll be happy to be back in Toronto. Very well said. Fred Van Fleet, appreciate you spending some time with us. Best of luck next season. No doubt. Thanks, guys.